Eckhart said that our ground and God's ground are one ground, that our being and God's being are one being, that our seeing and God's seeing are one seeing, one knowing, one loving. He said so many amazing things, remarkable things, and for some, perhaps troubling things, because Eckhart was insistent on disrupting our premature certainties about everything. A medieval Dominican who lived in the 13th into the 14th century and was in his own day an enigma he refused to accept easy answers to difficult questions, and he refused simple questions that refused a real answer. In fact, he felt that one's whole life was lived not in search of God, but rather in search of ourselves, of opening ourselves to the reality of God, that Funklein, that little spark that is always within each of us from the very beginning. In fact, from before the beginning, Eckhart insisted. And in some ways, his central message to us, as it was to those of, of his day, was to learn to let go. To let go of our assumptions about God, of our assumptions about ourselves, of our assumptions about the nature of reality of our assumptions about the church or what it means to be a faithful person or a religious person or a devout person or a spiritual person. He felt that in fact, if you pursued those things, you would never find yourself and you would certainly never find God. You might find that manner of being religious, but you wouldn't find the deep peace and rest and joy that we discover in the heart of our own being, which is the heart of God. I'm delighted to welcome you, together with my friend and colleague, John Sweeney, to this series of talks and conversations inspired by the visionary writings of Meister Eckhart.